I said to the WSI subscribers, throw us some questions. Anyway, we got like a couple of hundred. You got one least. question? I w- yes? Did you get at least one question? A, a good couple of hundred. So I had to whittle... Shut the fuck up. A I couple to, hundred? Yeah, I had, to whittle, I had to whittle this script down to six wow. pages. So okay. so we've got enough what for like an we omnibus. Uh, we're at one, th- one third of uh, page one. I may have to come back. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll do the greatest hits version, and then if there's a, you know, if there's any desire to come back, I'll, okay. I'll uh, definitely let you. But uh, several people wrote this in. Anyway, actually, that's what I was going to get out. So when I said Mikey's coming on, give us some questions. I used the photo of you, two uh, K sixteen, and that- the WWE game, and I thought some, I thought a fan had made it because I'd stopped playing the WWE games for years. And then loads of people have written in, uh, ask Mikey about being in the game. And then I, it clicked, and I remembered that you were in like the Steve Austin uh, uh, sort of like history, yeah. chronology, uh, 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 what do you call it, my career or something like that with Steve Austin. And what yeah. a way to get into the game. I hadn't realized that you were in there. Like, completely out of nowhere, I get this phone call from. That was Mark Carano, one one of the guys. And I'm like, hey, this is, you know, who's so-and-so from, from WWE? I'm like, hey, what's up? I'm going, okay, this has got to be bullshit. Like, I don't, I have never called them for a job. I've never anything. Anytime any, anybody's done everything, it's been, they call me, which is rare as fuck. Three times, I think they've called, let's see, they called me for the two ECW pay-per-views. They called me one time for uh, to be a talking head for network shit they were filming. We did twice for that. And then this video game thing. And I'm like, yeah, okay. How do you want to make some money? I said, sure. What do I have to do? And they go, just sign your name. I said, well, I can fucking do that. <laughs> and they told me it was about, you know, the, the, the game they were developing was based on Steve Austin's career. And I was a big part of his career. And I said, let's, I said, I said, let's not get carried away. I was not a big part of Steve Austin's career. He was a big part of mine, but I was a fucking hiccup <laughs> for for him. You know what I mean? And yeah, and that that was it. And then they fucking put me in the game because I had um, Trent Beretta. I trained Trent Beretta and Mike Mondo, who's Mikey from the Spirit Squad. They were doing the motion cast for the game. And they told me, he goes, well, you must have signed your contract because they have us doing all your moves. I said, what, laying down? <laughs> yeah, if you're laying down. But, but yeah, that was it, man. It was, it was cool as shit. You know, and it's, it's, it's funny that that match against Steve Austin has made me more money than anything else. So him coming in in 95, and I, I guess we're going to jump around a little bit, but hmm. – me being a big fan of his, even when he was in, uh, was it world class or global? I forget where he was, but when he first started, global, global. Uh, no, yeah. it was world class. Oh, with um, he did do global um, as well though, and then he went WCW. But he was in USWA at some point as well, I think. Wherever he was, he was with Chris Adams. He was doing stuff with Chris Adams. That's when I saw it, and big fan. And then maybe in global, but WCW is when I'm like, oh fuck, this guy is fucking amazing. Like I fucking love this guy, and then. He came to ECW, and then Paul said, oh, yeah, you're going to work with uh, Steve Austin next month. And I lost my shit. Like, holy fuck, this is fucking, this is amazing. So I figured, what a fucking lose to Steve Austin. Cool. Like, I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Like, uh, great. And we we get there that night of the, of the match, and Steve goes, okay, kid, sunset flip, hook the tights. I'm going, what? He goes, so that's the finish. I said, you're hooking my tights. <laughs> like, I'm like, you're beating me with a, a sunset flip. Like, it doesn't make, he goes, no, I'm putting you over. I said, I said, you fucking ripped me. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. He goes, no, I'm serious. He goes, I'm not, you know, no offense, but me beating you is not really going to do anything. I said, I don't, and I don't think I'm sticking around very long, you know, so let, let me put you over. You've put the work in. I'm like, oh, holy shit. Like, Okay, like to this day, any any time I think like, oh, you're gonna win the the TV belt, 
your first belt ever from Pitbull. Yeah, fucking rib. No fucking way. Hmm. And then you're going to lose it to Jason. Oh, and then a month later, you're going to team with Cactus Jack, replacing Terry Funk. Oof. Shut the fuck up. You're fucking ribbing me. And now the stuff with, with, with Steve. And the thing with Steve, am I jumping around like crazy here? I think don't, I'm jumping don't, around. Don't you worry about that. You know, this is, this is free form. You know, this is off. Say what you yeah. say. So I had gone just from a program with the Sandman. And Hack would call everything. A to fucking Z. Like everything in between, every little nuance. Hit with the cane. One, two, three. Stick. Four. Like, you know what I mean? Like every little detail down. And then I work with Steve, and he said, it's such a flip hook the tights. I'm like, uh, okay. That's 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 what we're doing. Like, and I'm like, okay, I'm used to selling and getting beat up because I was a beat up guy for a while. So I'm like, oh, that's easy. You know, I'm, okay, I'm gonna get the shit kicked out of me by Steve, and just he'll call Sunset and we'll go home. Well, I, we we go to get into the ring, and he's telling me to get out of the ring. Right, just when it starts, he goes gathering. And I'm going, do I get out? Not get out? It's like, is he really telling me to get out because he wants me to get out? Is he working, telling me to get out, wanting me not to get out? So now I'm mind fucked. I have no idea what the fuck is going on. So I kind of go and I kind of half get in. I kind of get out. And then he jumps me, beating the shit out of me. And then he gives, we're on the floor and he gives me the Iggy to reverse. So I reverse him into the guardrail and he says, take over. I had no idea what to do. (laughs) I I literally, I go, what the fuck am I going to do? Like, I don't, I don't know what to do. Like, I just. I, I totally froze up. Had no idea. Are you dealing with being so, starstruck at the same time as all this is going on? No, no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't starstruck. I was in reality because he was beating the shit out of me. Yep. Because <laughs> he, he'll throw, he'll throw some fucking punches safely. But you know, he's, you know, he's there. You know what I mean? And I just didn't know, like what, to, like I didn't know what to do. Like I just really didn't, didn't have the experience to on the fly to do shit and anything I would really do, I kind of would have to tell him ahead of time kind of. So, and I'm just like, I don't, I don't want to dive on him because he just came back from touring his triceps. So I don't, so I rolled him back in the ring and I'm kind of stomping him in the corner. And I think he finally just said, okay, enough. And he said, reverse stun gun. So we did a reverse came back and he stun gunned me. And then from there, but yeah, fucking amazing. And I, like I said, him just being completely unselfish and just be, being cool as fuck and all about business got me a huge win for me and you know has made me more money and i get asked this question all the time mm. how's it feel beating steve austin it, 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 it's it, fucking it, amazing it, it, it doesn't sound like you're sick of talking about it either man i mean it, it's, it's I just, massive like i'm talking i'm partly talking to you today because of steve austin otherwise i you know, he did this he did a couple of things because uh, I'm I'm linked with with Steve in this way. The same with Cactus. You know, I'm just linked with these two guys. It's just it's helped me out as far as staying somewhat. I wouldn't say relevant, but known. Do you, Do you think uh, just very briefly, just on the game itself? Do you think that Steve Austin requested you to be in the game, get you a payday, that kind of thing, or was that something from within the two K people who brought you on? I wouldn't be surprised if he did, but. I don't know. Couldn't uh, couldn't really tell you. Now, <clears throat> I'm I'm going to skip ahead here because you've mentioned Steve Austin. So we had obviously quite a few uh, people writing in with it. Ken Terminate says, "What was the experiences with Steve Austin? Uh, pretty much, was he a good guy or a jerk?" Plus, uh, something about the stunner that we'll get to at another point. But uh, essentially, he sounds like all about business, good guy. Amazing. Just fucking, just a good dude, like. Texas fucking redneck just came in, loved the business, wanted to do business, wasn't selfish, and was just fucking amazing. Like, amazing. Were you ever present with any of the uh, interviews he did? I don't, because I'm yes. not, Oh, so you were behind the camera actually watching some of these? Yeah. Amazing. Which ones? Fucking just all of them. Just, just him doing the. When he first came in, uh, he did like the Hulkamania promo where he was on a stairwell or something. It's like, this, this, 
Like you just see the charisma, like, man, that was awesome. Like it was it's fucking cheesy as hell. He's doing fucking Hulk Hogan, but it's fucking but he's making fun of Hulk Hogan. So it's just fucking cool as shit. You know, you can just tell that like the charisma. Like when he did the um I don't know if I was there for the the Monday Nyquil one. I don't know if I was in the room for that one. But just just it, it just seems so easy. It's just like natural, like, oh, kind of promo, okay. And he went. And it really, it really was. It did seem like the beginning of the Stone Cold character. Because like he was kind of developing that like I don't give a fuck type attitude uh in ECW. And then he went and became the ringmaster, and then it kind of got muted a little bit. Um, and then he just fucking exploded. <laughs> with Steve also with the ECW run, he seems to go through about four different haircuts in the space of about three months. Cause it's like super long Hogan. Whittled down, whittled down until he had like a buzz cut. So you can always, you can tell by the week which week it is without having, you know, without knowing which show it is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I worked him that the second match we had, the three way with Sandman, um, which I hated that match. By the way. Is that Terrible. November to remember? The one after. Yeah. November was the one on one with Steve. And then we came back the following month with three way. I, I, I hated that match. I hated it. Like it just didn't it didn't feel right. Like I'm just like it just didn't click for me. Um, but he had the he had the he had shaved his head, and they were calling him Forrest Gump. <laughs> and they were going, "Gee, son of a bitch!" <laughs> just pretty much. Did you always know? I mean, you you alluded to it before saying, "No, I don't know if he was going to be here." For a long time, but it, was it always known that this was a short stop for him, or was he ever planning to make it maybe a year in ECW or something like that? I don't know because I think I thought when Cactus came in, he was going to be there like two months. Well, when he first came in, he was still with WCW, and then he quit WCW, put his notice in, and they, I think they put the tag belts on him after he gave his notice, which was weird. But I thought Cactus was only going to be around for a couple months, and then he'd be gone. But he was around for, like, almost two years. So, like, I couldn't see Steve sticking around. Like, I would have fucking loved for him to stick around. But I, just, there's no way this guy's sticking around. Like, they're, they're going to scoop this guy up. 